Hello everyone and welcome to the Binding of Isaac after birth. We are still on the quest for the elusive... Oh, for... <laughs> the elusive items that we're never going to find if we have to keep playing as the goddamn Keeper game. Oh, shit. Uh, I seem to be in a position where my brain refuses to look at the screen properly. Oh my god, how many of these things are there on this room? Uh, apparently, approximately one million. Come on now. I found the item room straight away, which super helps. And there's some HP. Golden teleports. Oh, sure. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine these runs to last very long unless we get super strong straight away. It is a bit laggy, actually, isn't it? This is, the trouble is that I don't always have a backlog, so I try to record some games while rendering an episode. Oh, fuck. What's happening? I haven't... Oh, that's where you keep the penny, by the way. Um, yeah, whatever. No. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, that's a good start. I'm happy with that. Yeah, sometimes I record an episode for the day, but uh, I have a job. So, what ends up happening is... I'm, re I I'm rendering the one episode. This is a bad position for a bomb. Whilst, okay, that's a spider. Uh, recording another episode. It takes about an hour to render it, especially on an episode like the Hexen one I just did, where I have to undo, uh, fail. Uh, should do that at the start of the room, what you're doing. Remember how to play the game, please. Uh, I had to do an edit to cut out a whole redo of a section, so it's going to take a little bit longer. That's how the game goes, I'm afraid. That's lying. That's what I'll do. I once worked in a hotel on the bar, but I only ever seemed to have to do my job when there was some really frustratingly annoying group of people. <laughs> Basically, any wedding or twenty-first birthday party, or even eighteenth for that matter, but. We didn't tend to do many of those because the thing about an 18th birthday party is the, you know, the people whose party it is tend to have friends who are not 18 and therefore are not allowed to drink. Now, we may use a bomb to get that key, but it really gives you a, a, a good appreciation. Now that we've got three bombs, I'll definitely use one to get that key. Uh, a good appreciation of how generic DJs can actually be. I was very nearly uh, abject failure, but it turned out to be okay. That's a lot of coins. They are unfortunately in the wrong place for this tinted rock over here, which I will continue to explode. May get a secret room this way? Did not. Um, on the hopes that we would get a small rock, which is just a damage upgrade, pure and simple. And that's what we like to see. So I've used all my bombs. We won't be getting that key. But we did get a key out of the tinted rock, so it's not all bad. Yep, I'll go. Ooh, I'll go along with these rather than contra them, because that seems like the sensiblest way of doing it. Uh, it's very, very lucky to have got magic mushrooms so early on, because it has increased our survivability drastically. Well, not our survivability necessarily. Um, we are playing as the keeper, which honestly gives us a, a great opportunity to not take deals with the devil, because we almost certainly can never afford them. Just continue to do that, that's fine. It will expedite this process quite considerably. I, I'm really tempted to use Cuban meat. Um, but I'm gonna try and remember to use it as a, <laughs> a, a, a defensive orbital rather than an offensive one because if I continue to walk into enemies, that will be bad for me. I'm gonna check. Yeah, we can't take him anyway. So, angel rooms, I guess. Uh, and we basically knew that would be the case. We haven't found our item room yet, so we should go and find it. The HP up doesn't obviously do anything for us. Obviously, it doesn't do anything for us, but no, I think I think we're doing okay here. We've got a decent amount of damage up to start with. Uh, the blue cap is a tears downgrade, so we're going to be shooting slightly slower. But I'm kind of banking on the idea that we'll get something to to improve that. Hoping for uh, a decent one from a boss like Torn Photo or the... I was going to say the Cat Nine Tails, but uh, I actually think that is maybe not a tears upgrade? Anyway, you know what I'm saying. 
We need a decent amount of tier stat. So many batteries. Batteries have actually been showing up so much recently that it's kind of confusing. We will uh, absolutely do this. We do not want a spacebar item. Thank you for playing. We do not want this. We would like to actually get somewhere in this game. Yes. Tech point five is excellent. Uh, the best of times. Interesting concept that we should have that there. I think we're going to pass. We found our item room. Let's go. We haven't actually got enough money now for the shop. Although we can go into the shop for free. So there's kind of no reason not to check. There could be a 7% item. There could be fucking chaos. Ah, shit. What do we do here? We Ah, exp oh, you fucker. <laughs> we, we have to get... We have to get chaos. It is non-negotiable. If we're going to get Godhead, we need to make plays like this. We need to be able to find things. We need to take Chaos and find the items we want in any of the places where we could find items, rather than just the few places where they would normally spawn. There is one more cent for us. Thank you. That was very lucky. So we'll come over here. We'll get Chaos. Chaos will give us some stuff anyway, because it's nice like that. And I'm going to try not to take any damage if I can avoid it. I'm, I was talking about the genericity of DJs. Because they always seem to finish with time of your life. We had the time of our life and I've never felt this way before. You know the one. Or whatever the hell I was singing before, the Frank Sinatra. And it's very, very disheartening <laughs> because I hate them both. I went to a friend's birthday a long time ago and uh, they asked for time of your life at the end of it from the generic DJ. They meant Green Day's Good Riddance. They got time of your life. I mean, you get what you ask for, right? But, just a little anecdote. <laughs> There's nothing to the. Uh, mm. <laughs> if there is an HP upgrade in here, we will take nine lives. But we haven't got any keys, so we will never know. We will know. Um, I did accidentally use my coin once too many times. You may have noticed that, and you're probably screaming at the screen, going, What the hell are you doing? Learn to play this game, you GD loser. I. Appreciate your candidness, but not your tone. Oh fuck! I get hit again. We won't get hit again. Thank you. So there goes our angel room chance. We didn't have a good chance anyway because um, we just got one. Devil vest. But it's still nice to you know feel like you are in with some chance. We have infinite bombs now, so we should definitely search for the secret room. Should be using this coin. Found it. Uh, all the time. There may be money in here. Please blow up more than one thing. Yeah, I'll take them. Uh, it's not hugely important that we don't take them, I suppose. We are looking for a key. Do not forget, we are looking for a key. That is a key. See, earlier on, I would have been... Yeah, we've got infinite bombs. We should get all of them. Um, somewhat loathe to... What am I saying? I started talking. To pick up a... Th these coins that we keep picking up when we flip the coin. I would have always left a single one as the keeper. On the ground so that if I got hit for any reason I could backtrack all that way and go and get it. Not so anymore. Deep pockets. Oh, we'll take deep pockets. It's okay. Chaos can really uh, throw you for six. So if we could still get um, HP from the boss, we could find HP in the shop, which we will be going to because it's free to get in. We will check for secret rooms everywhere there could be one. Super secret rooms I'm thinking of this time. Oh, we can get into the curse room. I hadn't even realised that. I was thinking about getting out of the curse room with AWAS, but I didn't say anything about it because I was still umming and ahhing about whether it would be a good idea in the first place. Back of the net. Uh, brilliant, thanks. What's Guppy like as the keeper? Probably the same as Guppy not as the keeper, I suppose, but... I mean... The keeper's particular 
annoyances may not be quite so annoying. Uh, we don't really want to pay for the three cent key because we're not going to get a cheaper key than that. But we don't really want to <clears throat> buy a spacebar item at all, but certainly not the Necronomicon. Look at the uh, cheeky ass grin on his face now. He's got chaos. And I really appreciate having the infinite range of Tech Point 5, even though it has a very erratic firing rate. It's actually firing extremely quickly, which is. Oh. My brain said you're supposed to be using the, um, the penny to get HP. So I did. <laughs> but of course, it was at the end of a room. Wrong time, brain. Thanks, though. Appreciate your uh, chiming in there. My brain's offering moral support, but it's not really the, you know, it's not really the brains of the operation, you might say. Now we can use it on this room. Flip, 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 flip. Can't watch this. Can't watch this. We can go to the shop and buy the Necronomicon, but I have no intention of doing so. Our damage is great, and then we're actually doing really well. We've only taken one piece of silly damage at all in quite some time, uh, to be quite honest with you. So. Perfectly happy to continue with this particular state of affairs. We have found the bosses, which makes me happy. We're doing enough damage that even the Forsaken here is not that big of a deal. I'm still not using my Cuban meat, no matter what you say, because it scares me to consider it. I don't like it, but it's here. We didn't get an A. Uh, we didn't get a. Oh fudge! We didn't get A. That is HP. Right. Haha. <laughs> we didn't get a Perthro rune. We got an Awas rune. So, spikes on this rune. Okay. <laughs> no, sir. I do not like what you're selling. So, the placenta is an HP upgrade. And regeneration, incidentally, but it's an HP upgrade, which means we come down here, we get nine lives. Then we have nine lives. Of course, every time we spawn with a life. We will spawn with one HP. And one hit. Every time we respawn with nine lives, we will have one hit in us to not die with. What do you think the uh, super secret room might be? It could be down in the area we've not been to. That's probably where it is. And I'm going to assume it's there and not worry about it. Let's go get our HP back. We can now have one guppy item, which is excellent. And extra shitload of money that we don't really need. A vignette. And dank depths. Not my favourite. But I'm still uh, holding out for my tears up for by the way, game. If you'd like to sort of provide. I know you know you didn't specifically promise it, but I feel like it was implied in the contract. I mean, you know, implication is not worth the paper it's written on. I know. But at the same time, you have to admit, a tears upgrade is basically the way we win as the keeper. I mean, we did get slightly a tears upgrade out of Magic Mushroom, I guess. We, we've knocked it down quite a lot with the next damage upgrade from the thing which it was. Yep, blue pack. That's right, well done. That French Mushroom. Blue pack. Was it blue cap? It was blue cap. This room should be no problem. Why don't they play good music at these events? Why am I in here? This is no good. Take this. We've got two things. The world. We will use it on the next floor. We're going extremely fast, I might note. Um, often, I will take forever somehow and have no idea how and then be going well I wish I was more like Northern Lion I could just race through these rooms will he nil he and yet here I am oh my goodness me gracious goodness God this is of course the second guppy item which we will not be keeping nevertheless it is an excellent uh, opportunity because it's one guppy item away from the dream um, we're going very fast, whereas normally I try to go at a speed that at least gives us a chance to get into boss rush. Um, I feel like having those two damage upgrades so early on has been such a benefit for us. 
I, I'm what I mean is that I'm assuming that it is those two damage upgrades so early on that has been such a benefit for us, rather than my particular playstyle having suddenly improved without you know consent. I would very much like to fly. I feel like a run like this is really asking for f flight because it's the only thing that's missing is the the freedom. Oh my goodness. It's been done. He shoots, he scores. Back of the net. That's one up for fucking Wimbledon. Uh, Guppy. Flight. What can I say? Here's a shitload of HP for us. Oh yeah, just use a key. Whatever. Brilliant. I, I will leave that on the ground. Even though, as I've noted, I don't tend to be so... I tend to be too lazy to go back and get. Mm, but... Suddenly, we're in a very important not dying situation. I would like to not have to worry that we... <laughs> basically, uh, if this goes wrong, we will be on 1 HP forever and ever. We were saving the world card, by the way, for the next floor so we can know where the mom fight is. And then hopefully find a teleport before we get to boss rush because there's no heckin' way I'm doing boss rush. Uh, so Guppy is basically making us as fast as it possibly can be. I can't believe we got Guppy so early as well. Normally you'd have to take several deals with the devil and a lot of hoping for the best to actually get Guppy. Of course it's fucking Brownie though. I'm here to ruin my day. Get rid of this. Oh, fuck. I couldn't deal with that. This is going to be the end of us. I can't deal with that fly. That poop that was there. Very upsetting. That was, that was in my dodge zone. Please. Leave me alone. Die. Yes, we've done it. So now we need the <laughs> HP upgrade somehow. Of course, we didn't get a, a deal with the devil or angel because we didn't deserve one because we're bad. Uh, I guess now we might as well pick up all that HP because there's nothing we can do. There's no by don't. <laughs> there is no way this is a one run by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so, oh, a look upgrade, nice. So don't even pretend. But I mean, we have to. Um, you know, beat mom. <laughs> the trouble is, we're here for the angel room items, and we have chaos. That would have been excellent to have shot. But whilst we're in that fight, would it not? Um, we have chaos, which means it could show up in any of the shops or even any of the item rooms from, you know, here on out, but it doesn't make it that much more likely to, I guess. It's just you know, there's more of a chance of the items we're looking for to show up now that we have more opportunity for them to show up. So yes, it's more likely, but it's not very likely. We're using the world card, I forgot. So we can go and get the item room. There is a self-sacrifice room, which I believe we can do nothing with. Because even with invincibility, it would it would have no effect on us. We can go to the curse room, though. Oh, we can't. If we can get out of boss rush with this... Nope. Uh, we can get out of the curse room now, actually. We should go to it. See if it does us some good. And it does you no good. <laughs> that was a that was a line from a song. So, uh, answers on the postcard, please. I was like, oh, didn't expect a secret room. I knew the secret room was... Ah! I'm bad. I apologise, but I panicked. Um, and don't judge me. I mean, I realise now maybe we should use the chariot card against Mom. Too late. One makes, makes you one. larger. Twice. The chariot. Sure. Oh, we can get out of Boss Rush with a bus. Right. Okay. We're definitely going to Boss Rush. We just need to beat Mom, as noted. Um, it would be nice to get an HP upgrade in this shop or item room. This is a decent item. It could have certainly helped. We've also got the mom transformation, so bully for us. I guess. The guppy transformation is really helping. I probably can't stress that enough. The fact that we have all these flies, which can just lacerate this particular cohort of enemies right here, without us having to do anything, is the opposite of invaluable. Uh, not the opposite of invaluable. I was going to say valueless. That's the opposite of invaluable. Sounds like it means the same thing. It does not. No, sir. Right, this has been a really good run, I'll be honest. Even if we don't find... Oh, fucking let me go in that room. It's the only room I want to be in. 
Um, even if we don't find what what we're here, for, which is either of the two items that we still need. I mean, I think I'm pretty sure Crown of Light is an Angel Room item, actually. I still like to find it somewhere <laughs> else. Because Angel Rooms are so hard to come by. Man. I mean, the thing is, if you get a Chaos Run, still pretty rare. But at least you don't have to try and get the goddamn angels to spawn. Okay. It seems more likely that you manage to get into look at his head. <laughs> more get into Ooh, Thank you. Justice, sure. Take that, that and that. We are back in the game. We're very unlikely to um, unlock the angel room as the keeper because it's just that much more difficult to get through a floor without taking any damage at all. It's like the loss. I mean the loss was guaranteed to get um, the loss still is guaranteed to get every single um, devil or angel room that is going to roll, but do we know where the super secret room is? We don't. Well, here goes. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> We've only got three minutes to beat Mom without dying. Uh, and if we die, of course, it's going to be worse for us. Oh, it's done. He's fucking... Look at this guy. What a legend. I'm the best at this game, and you all can suck it. Oh, that was bad. Take this. Don't rotate. Shoot. More flies, please. Thank you. We get Krampus's head, which we're not going to take, because it's our life that's on the line. Oh, Cricket's head. Let's go. Whee! Oh, this is doing really well. I'm super happy about that. Cricket's head is a massive damage upgrade. It's not a tears upgrade, which is what we're really after, because... <clears throat> Excuse me. Being able to hit hard is great, don't get me wrong, but um, what we do want to be able to do is hit fast. To avoid wasting shots, basically, the more shots we can get on the screen, the less likely it is that any of the individual shots um, becomes that much of a, more of a problem. But missing a shot is less of a problem, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. But look how much damage we're doing. Even our um, laser doing a great amount of damage, and I think that's probably testament to the tech point five pickup that we re-rolled for earlier on in the run. Um, so much of our damage is coming from that thing right across the screen. Oh, it, apparently it doesn't, you know, pierce through, uh, it's not spectral, it doesn't go through rocks. Kind of thought that it did. I was wrong. That's okay. And then our flies. So much more powerful now. We've got a cricket's head. Oh! I'm feeling really good about this run, and if we lose it, you know, there's every chance of that. Let, let's not pretend that this is a one run, it is a keeper run. It's going to be hard. Uh, it's not going to be that way, because there's no way there can be a room coming off of that. That must be a dead end. Um, you know, keeper runs are not easy. We've made this one, uh, you know, it is easy in the sense that we've given ourselves as many advantages as we really can, especially with chaos on our side. Although now that we haven't got any more shops, I guess um, Chaos is not like, great. But it did give us HP in a shop. So even though it hasn't successfully given us what we need to, you know, out of these quests that we're doing, the, the quest for 1,001%, please, it has given us something, which is the ability to survive this run at all. <laughs> it's given us this life. Addicted. Not really what I'm after. Not that it may, I'm pretty sure addicted that has no effect on us. But it could double our damage nevertheless and just kill us with any one hit that we take. So let's not risk it. For a biscuit or otherwise. Not really uh, Not really feeling biscuits right now. Although I could maybe go for some uh, stew and dumplings. See if there's a thing here. Felt like a thing. It has got some... Oh shit. There's money. <laughs> I couldn't see the fire behind my big fat head. Just... Uh, 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 sure! <laughs> Let's fuck it up! Now it's fun! Are you not entertained?! Uh, okay, Pandora's box. On this floor is actually good. Let's use it. Straight away. Oh, we gotta go ahead. Okie dokie then. So this guarantees us the rooms, which are not still guaranteed to be, um... Angel room, so we're at least guaranteed for them both to open, irrespective of the damage that we've taken. Which is good, because I just took some damage. Oh my god, look how much damage we're doing as a result of the fact that soy milk 
is giving us a shitload of flies. It's outrageous. Like normally you say, don't take soy milk, that's bullshit. We've got so many damaged upgrades from, you know, carefully making sure we re-roll stuff. Oh god, dad's key is here. I'm not going to fight the, uh... oh, of course. <laughs> well, excuse me. Fucking shoot me, see that bastard. I'm not going to take that um, because our survivability depends on our spacebar item. We have already taken chaos and soya milk on the same run, so don't give me that. Right? Normally, as I was saying, soya milk is a terrible, terrible idea. Don't even go there because it vastly reduces your damage uh, but gives you a rate of fire that doesn't quite compensate as far as I know. Should be probably rolling this, flipping this coin, shouldn't we? But for some reason this time... Oh, bad. Don't get hit. For some reason right now, soy milk has done nothing but good for it. Which I'm happy with. I'm very much a fan of that. Oh, thank you. And we're guaranteed names will be next, of course, with chaos. So, <laughs> unfortunately, I mean, I guess thanks to Chaos, we got the Goathead in the first place. Although, I think you can get Goathead out of one of those chests, so maybe maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Do you want to do Hush? <laughs> we'll never survive the Hush fight. I'm so tempted to, though. There's a shop down there, and it could have anything in it. <sighs> I think we try it. I'm feeling confident. I would like more defense. Or a Waz rune. Ho, 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 ho. That would be snide. Take another a Waz rune. We've got two of hearts and addicted, neither of which does anything for us. I picked up deep pockets. It was obviously free. It's not like I paid for it, but still. Man, this soy milk. You don't expect soy milk to do as well for you. And the fact that we've had guppy for such a long time has just been uh, nothing but. Nothing but entertainment for me, at least, I hope. You're enjoying it too. Everything die. We get explosive diarrhea. Run away. Howard. Howard. I'll get you. We want that back, so whatever. Should be flipping this. Maybe picking them up as well. Don't really need it. I mean, there's such a small chance that we take damage on the normal room, thanks to all these flies and Mom's contact, which is freezing enemies for us. Oh, that was a good guess. <laughs> Uh, the virus, absolutely, although if I could pick it up, that would certainly help with the uh, having it part of this transaction. It's a pill we don't know. It's purse! Which also does nothing for us. Take a dick tick because I'm sick of carrying it. There was nothing in this room and I knew that. Interesting. If we die, I'm going to want that. So we should try and fight Mom's heart without dying, obviously. If we do die, do die, do die, day. That was very scary, actually. For the first time in my life, I've been scared by pin. Huh. Um. What is happening? We die against Mom's heart, which I, I kind of doubt, but our flies are not that powerful. There's just a lot of them. See that? Uh, our actual tears are pretty shit. So we need to make sure the flies are attacking. And Mom's heart is not. Uh, please let me. Oh, shit. Please die. Ah, I see. I knew we'd die. So I'm glad. Because we took the one makes you larger pill. I don't actually think it increases your hitbox. In fact, I think it explicitly does not increase your hitbox. But. Um. It. It makes just me have completely no brain that lets me dodge. So I, I just confuse the shit out of myself, basically. Uh, it's fine. We've got to deal with the devil. Which we you know, can take, but shan't. The reason we shan't is that I don't want it, because it's a spacebar item. Um, I'm so tempted to do that. Come on, let's do it. We could die six times, that's quite likely, especially given how I just failed at the mom fight, but uh, we have to try because of the blind. Oh, shit. Why am I lagging? What's wrong with this floor? A was ring? <clears throat> That'd be great. Uh, this one. Brimstone? Soy milk, triple shot brimstone. What the fuck? Pageant boy. 
Well, there's our HP back. Heavens, we'll buy it. It's missing phase two. We'll buy it. Let's go up his collar. Okay, now we could die even more than six times if we so wanted to. There's some more flies for us. Uh, I'm very confused by this run. Okay. Now, here's a benefit. Whilst we're charging our laser, we get... Oh, um, Brimstone. No. Whilst we're charging our Brimstone, we get Tech Point 5. Look how little damage we are actually doing. Unless our flies get involved. We should put a coin on the floor. <laughs> oh shit, there isn't one. Great. Um, so we can do damage whilst charging. Damage when we let go of the charge. And then we do damage with our flies after all that anyway. So this is going to take some time. Um, maybe make a cup of tea. Cheese sandwich. What do you normally do? Uh, well, what did you used to do before you got rid of your TV? Um, when the adverts came on, when you're watching like Die Hard at Christmas on Channel 4 or something like that. Did that hit? Because my mum would always mute the adverts. Because fuck them. They ain't got nothing for me. Go and put the cat on. I would try and make a cheese sandwich because I get hungry quickly. Especially when watching... Well, I don't think my mum would have been watching Die Hard necessarily. This would have been a great time, by the way, to have something that gives us benefits from killing enemies. Like, um... I mean, we have the virus, but what are we supposed to do with that? But now that... Oh, shit. Now that I think about it... There is no way out of this! Ah! That's it. <laughs> so we're doing a lot less damage than I expected. Um, especially with Brimstone. I actually think Brimstone is a negative here. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? In about two or three minutes, this will all be over. And you can say, ha ha ha, I told you so. But look, we're not here to win, as evidenced by a, our win streak of one. Um, Shitbag, look at him trying. We're here to get Godhead <clears throat> for once. And crown of life, which we've only had so far on a daily. It was a Mario daily. So, that doesn't count. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, it is a no achievements type affair, the daily run, so that doesn't count. You don't get you don't get to count now amongst your items collected. Alas, because it's the only time I've ever seen it. I don't think I've ever seen Godhead, except for on YouTube. I mean, is there a tactic here that I'm missing? Can I just, like... do something else? <laughs> Can I be near it? Be far from it? I don't know. I like freezing it. That's really helpful, actually. Avoid producing those flies. Yeah, that's, I'd be very grateful. Because they make it extremely difficult to dodge because they take up so much space. But my own flies are certainly helping with this situation, but at the same time, I can't get hit at all. <laughs> so, uh, the host is very bullet heli, as you can tell, and I'm bigger than I normally am, which doesn't help at all. And it's so easy to get hit by a sort of a stray shot, especially in this situation. But we do have infinite range and the hush is quite large, so but we've got that going for us. All three, oh god. Fudge. We're okay. Get out of there. Oh god. <laughs> I am I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm not on the edge of my seat because I got my feet up. If I were on the edge of my seat, I'd probably fall off it. But I am figuratively on the edge of my figurative seat. I'm just going to stay here for now. Try and get rid of these flies, maybe. Don't get hit with that. <laughs> Shouldn't have to tell yourself not to get hit by things, but there we go. Now you produce those little nub bastards, which I hate. I mean, the infinite range, as noted, is extremely valuable in this situation. 
I'd like for these flies to go away. Bombs may be more valuable than I'm giving them credit for as well. What is this sort of situation? Those are weird waves of flies. Oh, I see. Because our brimstone lasers were going through everything. It's got, like, wave fronts of flies. It was like it was demonstrating the Doppler effect. Oh, I was talking about the Doppler effect. You should see the waveform for that. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I am losing patience. Not necessarily confidence. Patience. We do have an eye in the back of our head, so every now and then we fire a useless brimstone laser behind us. I feel like we can do this. But I also feel like it's really boring. Both for you and me. <laughs> oh, great. Well done. I mean, we got some damage done with the virus. We can't even knock the bombs with our tears. We don't have tears. Look. This was great until Brimstone got involved because our tears were okay and I think that's a large part of it. We could just spam the room with tears and then anything that hits will spawn a fly. Right now we have to actually fully charge our Brimstone laser. We can hardly tap shoot it. There's actually a charge time associated with this which is very annoying. Um, not all of the Brimstone lasers are hitting and then I know Brimstone synergizes extremely well with Guppy uh, due to the number of flies it produces because of the number of ticks it produces. But <laughs> it's making me sad. So I think that that is uh, a worse synergy than the simply fly based economy that we normally judge it by. So honestly, uh, I, I don't like it. There is a battery charge. We could. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? We can't buy HP. We need HP. Even if we do beat Hush at this stage, there's still a quite a good chance we keep dying on other floors. Like, how the hell are we going to beat Blue Baby, right? I'm trying to use these bombs without too much prejudice. Because they're definitely going to assist getting rid of these flies, but... I'm going to run out if I have to keep doing it several times. I, I, I can only die three, well, three plus the unknown from Guppy's collar more times. What a time to have fucking Curse of the Blind, huh? Just, just don't move. Let him, let him have his tantrum. Oh, we can hit him. All right. Don't move at all. Now move because it's gonna hit you. Shit me. What's going on here? Having the uh, the split shot actually helps because it means you can stand in certain places and have a little bit more chance of. Uh. Ah! Look, we're getting a lot of XP, <laughs> so there's that. Can I use my note? <laughs> can I use my keep a meat note? Still, uh, still resurrecting from nine lives. I, uh, I was quite confident about this hush fight, but maybe I should not have been so much. It's not. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's just the amount of time it's taken uh, and things like that. I'm getting impatient, and that's bad for me. That was a uh, guppy's collar resurrection. Oh, I think we have no nine lives left, so we are purely on guppy's collar. So this is basically going to be it. Um. I'm gonna keep trying, but honestly, I, I wish I weren't here, <laughs> okay? Um, we've done a really, really good keeper run, to be quite honest with you, but it just needed that little bit extra. More defensiveness, absolutely. Um, and if we hadn't taken soy milk, I don't know if we would have gone this far, but then our brimstone laser would have been so much better once we did get this far, so it's kind of a mixed blessing. There you go. Well, thank you for watching. I actually enjoyed that quite a lot. I think it was good to try and do the hush fight once in a while. And obviously the idea there was that maybe one of the items on the hush floor was one of the items we were looking for thanks to chaos, but it was not the case. So maybe tomorrow it will be the case. And maybe tomorrow or whenever I upload the next one, it will not be a goddamn hush. No, keep a run or a hush run. But anyway, 
Thank you for watching this episode, and I hope that you will join me for the next one.